So hi guys, welcome back and let's continue with the simple browser actions in Puppeteer and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can actually use reload or refresh so let's say that you navigate to this website you wait for a few seconds and then you check that the h1 element exists and now you want to refresh the browser and make sure that the h1 is still there for that purpose Puppeteer gives us a function so we do page await and the name is reload like this so now we basically refresh the browser and then let's call await page dot wait and again let's wait for three more seconds and then let's check that the h1 is still there so await page dot bait for selector and we want to pass it the h1 value so let's try it npm run test so it spin up the browser now you see a refresh and the test is passing So that's pretty much all. There is nothing extra about uh, refreshing the browser. Again, as you can see, Puppeteer gives us a nice function. Again, it's almost like reading English. And that's also a strong side of Puppeteer, that all the functions are super readable, even for less skilled or less technical people. And in the next video, I'm going to actually show you how you can also leverage uh, browser forward and browser backward functions. And yeah, just remember, if you want to refresh the browser, all you have to do is mh pay.reload and you are basically good to go. So that's it and see you in the next video.